Hey again, welcome back friends. My name is Shafi Yunus and in this tutorial we will learn how to set up health in Android project. So we learned from the previous video that we need dependency injection for good softwares. In Android there are multiple framework to use dependency injection. There are Digger, Health, Coin and many more. In this tutorial we will learn how to set up health. So basically go to health dependency injection. The first link will be on the Android documentation. We need some couple of dependencies, right? As you can see, Hilt is built on Dagger. Basically, Dagger has a long learning curve. It's somehow hard to learn it. But Hilt is simple. It simplifies the process of Dagger. All right? So basically, we need to copy the first line, the plugin. The plugin here, go to this file. I'm using a fresh Android project here. Go to the build the Gradle project file and paste the class path here. That's the first thing. The second thing is to enable that plugin in the plugins section here. Right, so we need to enable the cat, Kotlin cat, and the plugin. Kotlin cat is basically for generating code with annotations. Next, we need also to add these dependencies. here and now you can sync great this way we enabled health in our android studio project now in order to provide dependencies we need to create class of application let's create here a class of application great let's call it my app for example and this will extend from the application class this one Okay, basically you will have to annotate it with health Android application. Okay, and that's it. You need to reference this class from the manifest. So Android can instantiate your class. Go here and in this type name and locate your app. This is all you need to get started using it. Now, in order to provide dependencies for other classes, first thing is to make this class injectable, okay? So, to provide dependencies in this activity, you will need to annotate it with Android Entry Point. So, for every activity, for every fragment or broadcast receiver, also services. If you want to provide any dependencies for these classes, you'll have to provide it you will have to annotate these classes with Android Entry Point. As you can see here in the documentation, we will see now you have to create the class. Okay, this is just an application. We created it using my app. That's the first thing. And in order to inject dependencies, you will need this Android Entry Point. So this is how you can set up health in your Android application. In the next video, we will learn how to do the simplest injection, which is field injection. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it and see you in the next video.